On tap, orange blossom cream ale. Better beer with Better beer. This is your Better Beer Authority. I'm James Knott. Today we are talking about orange blossom cream ale which is brewed by Pyramid Brewing for Buffalo Bills Brewery in Hayward, California, which is 30 miles southeast of San Francisco. This is a fruit beer with 5.2% ABV and 13 IBUs. The company claims it is made with sweet orange peel, orange blossom extract, and honey. This seasonal offering is only available in the spring and summer. RateBeer.com recommends drinking this beer out of a flute. Thus, I finally have a reason to drink out of my high school prom glasses. A pint glass will also work. Let's learn. A flute is a tall, thin glass with a short stem. Its elegant shape helps preserve the carbonation and showcase the sparkling color of the beer. It is also said to enhance the intensity of the aroma. It's good for fruit beers, Belgian lambics, ciders, and some pilsners. Scott. Anytime you add fruit to a beer, it seems to be controversial. Is this a controversial beer? Uh, no, I think it's exactly what it's built to be. It's a, a cream ale with a fruity taste and fruity flavor. It's, uh, I mean, you can even use it as a champagne substitute if you really wanted. It's just a fruity beer. Joby, is this more or less fruity than you expected? James, I didn't know really what to expect when I was having this beer. I guess it's more fruity. Um, coming out of you know, a, a beer bottle, you would think it'd have a lot more beer taste to it, but the first taste and even the aroma, you can really smell the fruit, the orange um, coming out of it. So I'd have to say it's more fruity than I expected. Yeah, you don't think this is beer-like? Not at all. Uh, it's, it's almost, um, like Scott said, champagne-y. It's, it's very high in carbonation. It fizzes in your mouth a little bit. Uh, the alcohol, taste, like I said, it, it doesn't stay in your mouth, so it's not even like you're drinking a beer. It's non-existent. Yeah. Adam, would you say that this is clean and crisp? How would you describe it? You know, uh, to me, we, we talked about it, the first, my first impression of it was it tastes like orange tang, uh, carbonated orange tang. Uh, the, the flavor of it is, it, it is clean and crisp. It's not what I'm looking for in a beer, but again, it's, it's a fruit beer. This is one of the only fruit beers, or one of, one of the few fruit beers that they actually add fruit to it. A lot of times with the, when they brew beers for, to be fruit beers, it's just in the fermentation process, process, but here they're adding the orange peel to it, so. But when you say tang, I mean, this isn't nearly as sour or sweet as tang. I mean. Oh no, this is pretty, pretty sweet. I, this, is a, so? this is a pretty sweet beer. This is, uh, uh, to me, it's, it has no resemblance of actual beer. When you're thinking about a fruit beer, I like a beer that tastes like fruit and beer. This tastes just very fruity. I think Adam's reliving his high school days with this beer. The days when he was dropping a little uh, orange Jolly Rancher into his Zima. <laughs> Man, I didn't even know what Zima was in high school. <laughs> I don't know when you thought I graduated. I'm not that old. <laughs> Scott, uh, would this beer keep you coming back for more? No. What would you rate it? That's a good answer there. <laughs> it's, it's, there's not much, not much that needs to be said with this beer. I mean, it's not a horrible beer by any means. It's just not something I enjoy. It's just uh, my wife would really like this, I assume. Uh, just someone that really likes a fruity kind of uh, kind of an empty taste it doesn't really leave a lot after you drink it i mean you finish it you have a little tang left and i don't know it goes away i'll probably give it a five joby is this beer as manly as you are <laughs> nowhere near it um i'd have to give this beer also a five on the rating scale james it's it's tricky because it doesn't taste a lot like beer it's got that fruity taste but with the high alcohol per volume it's it kind of hits you. If you have three or four of these, I mean, it wouldn't. So you're just saying it would surprise you a little bit. It really would because, again, you don't get that beer taste. And not that I would have three or four of these. I could see, like Scott was saying, females that like fruity beers, like the Blue Moons type things. I can see somewhere in a bar having a orange slice in this. So um, definitely not, not up my alley. All right, Adam, five, five. Five. All fives. All fives. All right, what, what, what do you base your rating on? It's good. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not something that I would ever seek out. I would never drink it unless somebody gave it to me for free. So, James, my question to you is how do you feel about this beer? 
Well, you haven't rated very many beers. Why don't you rate this one? All right, that gives Orange Blossom Cream Ale fives across the board. If you had this Buffalo Bills offering, then leave your impressions in the comments section. Today's glassware was not provided by Libby Glass, but you should buy from Libby anyways, because they make great stuff, and I said so. Head to BetterBeerAuthority.com, a place where all of your dreams will come true. I'm James Knott, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority.